Welcome back to my let's play of Portal of Evil Stolen Runes, the Collector's Edition. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're going to pick up where we left off last time. This is the second episode of my <laughs> Penny Pincher Arcade playthrough of this game. <laughs> um, last time we made our way into the cathedral. But let's get going. Yes, yes, main game. If you recall, we made our way into the cathedral, and through that, there was past that portrait of the angels and the demons fighting each other, and it led us down to this underground chamber, or this deep chamber, and it looks like there's the portal that we saw in her dream. Let's take a look. Look at that. Uh, These look like the gates for my dreams. They're locked. But not all the seals are in place. Well, that's not good news. Probably. Anything else here? Are you something? No, it's just shining. Hmm. Weird. Alright. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay, that spins. It's a lion. One cube is missing. Alrighty. We can look at that. How about you? 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 No. Let's look at this thing. There's a cube. <laughs> Alrighty. A book. In the dungeon of St. Peter's Cathedral, away from human sight, stand the gates to the underworld. Long ago, the Apostle Peter, with the support of an army of angels, chased off an ancient evil which escaped through the gates. He locked it away in a different world. Every 600 years, the evil tries to break out. But as long as the seven seals of Peter are put into place to protect the gate, the evil is powerless. Once the demonic attack is repulsed, the seals are returned to their sacred resting places to replenish their power for the next attempt. So, here's the various seals, I suppose. Wait, alright. Huh. So, every 600 years, so what time is this? Is this game supposed to be set like, like say, like 2020? Or so. T 2000, what, 1990? I don't even know. Let's say it's around the year 2000. Let's just say every 600 years. So say the evil is trying to escape now. That means the last time was in the year 1400. The time before that was year 800. And the first time was around 200. That would have mean that St. Peter did this after he, or yeah, after, you know, after his death in Rome because he was beheaded by the Roman oh no he was that was St. Paul he was crucified upside down at his pr request because he w he considered himself not worthy to be executed in the same fashion as Jesus so that must have mean he came down from heaven and did that all right well that looks like all we can do huh do we have that in our menu or is it just no. Okay. Hmm. Nope, nothing. Well, whatever. We, we got a cube, so let's put it into here. Alrighty. Rearrange the cubes to show the four right... The four symbols. The four, right four symbols. You should have seen the symbols earlier. Alright. Well, that's that's great. Lovely. So, it's a mini game. <laughs> so we can spin these. I don't know. Eh. 
Now this is the last thing I actually know what to do on, because when I was playing before, I figured this out. Okay, so it says you should have seen this before, right? And you're like, where the heck did I see these symbols? I thought maybe they were in that book over there that we just looked at. No, that's the seals for the gate. No, I looked around all over the place. Went and <laughs> looked at all sorts of stuff. There he is with the dogs. Okay, here it is. Look at this picture. It has four seals on it. So we have this, this thing. Hmm. All right, let's actually get to. Oh, we do have those two right. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, and this and this. There we are. Oh snap! <laughs> That's... <laughs> wow. A UV lamp. Vanessa, the gates to the underworld have been weakened. I used to be their guardian, but someone from the Order betrayed us and stole four seals. Uh-oh. Alas, I'm causing a huge imbalance in their power. Alas, I still don't know who the traitor is. Remember, trust no one. Stay vigilant and be careful. The Order may not approve of your visit here and may try to hide the very idea of our service from you. Nevertheless, I left hints for you, so you should be able to figure everything out yourself. I believe in you. Oh, boys. So, I guess the four bottom ones are missing. All right, all right. Well, that's that's good. That's, that's excellent, in fact. We got the second message from Grandpa Abraham. Oh, nothing. Okay. Wait, or maybe they're right here. They're right here. Here is the messages from her grandfather. So, if we ever want to look at them, we can. So, I don't think there's anything else to do in here right now. Okay, see, there's, yes, there's two of the seals. Yep. So now what? Nothing there. It's the book. Nope. Actually, let's look at our map. Okay, remember, it will tell you where you have available actions. So, right here, in fact. Haha. -ha. These things. There's that statue. It looks like Zeus. I suppose the statue should be moved in certain way, but I have no idea what, which way that is. All right. It's a picture of Caesar. Pretty cool. This. I guess someone bent part of the canvas on purpose. Maybe our screwdriver can pry it up. Or did we try that before? I can't remember. But I can't use it here. That makes no sense whatsoever. Okay. I don't think we should use <laughs> the box of matches on it. That sounds like a bad idea. So let's use the UV lamp. All right. Oh, okay. That's what the UV lamp looks like. Interesting. And it shows us it looks like the proper position for that statue. Nice. Do we still have the lamp? Nope, that took the lamp. All right. Now, do we have something here? Yes, we do. Grandpa suspected they'd hide information from me, so he decided to leave me hints so I could figure out everything myself. Myself. I've already started to find them, too. I'm so cool. The first one was in the cache near the gates with the symbols taken from our photo. And now this hint which can only be seen under a UV light. I'm glad G Grandpa left me this lamp. I've got to remember what I've seen. That is, I need to remember I have this menu, this um, journal. So let's go over and look at this dude. 
Okay, what was the position? Thunderbolt up, arm down, face forward it looks like. There we are. Thunderbolt up. Oh! That's pretty cool. Oh geez. <laughs> that's that's kind of scary. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the menu right quick. Nope, okay, save and exit. Okay, so we're not exiting yet. I just didn't know if you needed to save. I don't know if you can die in this game or not. Okay, oh, we're in the elevator, it looks like. What is this? St. Peter's Cathedral closed to visitors. Several days ago, several days ago, according, oh my goodness. Several days ago, access to St. Peter's Cathedral was restricted. A checkpoint was set up at the entrance, and the guards there are asking for passes before they let anyone in. The Vatican Press Center also announced that these changes were due to restoration work being carried out inside the cathedral. The cathedral. Yeah, they're trying to restore the seals on that. The gate. <laughs> so it is true what the press said from a certain point of view. And you know what a cathedral, right? The cathedral means a the seat of a bishop. It's the church that is the seat where where a bishop presides and has his authority. And look, there's something up here. I didn't even notice this. Clipped up here. Different little symbols clipped on with a paper clip. A template. Man, I almost didn't even notice that. Alrighty, anything else on here? Paperclip, can we take the paperclip? Uh, I guess not. What is that? Oh, I bet you we use the, hmm. Oh, that's probably you use the, the, the reader, the card. But let's look at this. Can we use a screwdriver here? Okay, are we up there? I guess a statuette. Is there anything else up there? I guess not. Okay. Let's use this pass card. Okay, there we go. Uh, stay on lights, please. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, lady, um. Ah. Uh, what was that? Did I really fall through an inferno or was it just another vision? I don't know, lady. That was really scary. <laughs> Okay, so we're right here, and it looks like we have available actions in a couple spaces. Ooh, man, that <laughs> gave me the creeps for a second. Um, okay, I don't like this place one bit. There's some gargoyle, or... What are those called? Yeah, gargoyles, I guess. I think they're gargoyles. If they have the, the spit water, they're gargoyles. If they don't spit water, they're grotesques, right? Or am I wrong about that? This oil could come in handy. But I don't have anything to put it in, right? Let's light the... Nope, okay, you don't need to light the oil on fire. Okay, so if I need oil, I can come there. Let's try again. Do I have I don't have anything else, do I? Statuette. Nope. 
Yeah. Music's pretty cool, right? What is over here? Ah, here's some of those symbols. There's the, like I said, the St. Peter's Basilica <laughs> looking thing and the, the fish hook. Where's the bug-eyed alien? Yeah, here it is. I think I should press certain stones, but which ones? Oh, I see, and then we have to get the other side. Once we get that other Sphinx's code. Uh, what's clicking? I don't like it. Okay, well. We'll come back. Is it still pushed? No, okay. It's not. I've got to drain the water somehow. Is that a... Huh. A cross-shaped dealie to put in that... I bet you it is. Hmm. Well, let's look at it again. Anything? No, I don't see anything. Alright, we got to drain the water somehow. Hmm. I need a pass card or a code. Would this work? Yikes. Okay, let's go this way first. Just for the sake of... Okay, what's this? Okay. <laughs> I think it's wine, not blood. I think. I think. What's this? Alrighty, some bottles, candle, or bottles. Is that a bat thing inside a glass bobble? This figuring inside the glass looks fragile. How can I get it out without breaking it? I have no clue. Oh, our screwdriver is gone? Huh. That template doesn't do nothing. <laughs> hmm, alright, we'll have to think about that. Build wine? No. Alright, let's look over here. Boom. Oh, I bet you have to... Oh, I don't know. Do you have to balance things? Scales are good for weighing things, but are useless without weights. A ruby. One of six. Oh, can't use the object here. I put the statuette in it? No? Hmm. Huh. Alright. Anything else here? How about a nice drink? She doesn't want a nice drink. Of course, we have no idea what that drink is. Oh! Oh, oh no. Alright. Hmm. How about this phonograph? An old gramophone. Yeah, that's right, a gramophone. I wonder if it still works. We don't have a record, though, to play on it. No, we don't. I imagine we're going to be coming here again more than once. No, nope, that doesn't work. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else for us to do here in this wine cellar. Let's look at the map. Well, there's something to do in the wine cellar, but I don't know that we can do anything here yet. Hmm. What to do, though? I wonder if that when it says there's stuff to do... Yeah, because, right? Because there's, there's stuff to do right here in the garden, but we can't do it yet. So that must mean we can do something here. Hmm. Whew. What? What do what? I don't see... Uh, no, no, I didn't want to go out.
Let's go in again. Hmm. Okay, we have... How can I get it out without breaking it? A figurine? No, that's not gonna do nothing. You jackass. <laughs> Hold the matches? Use the matches? I didn't think so. How about a ruby? I didn't think so. Hmm. Well, I don't think that's us right now. I think this game is going to be rather slow at times, because I am not always the most astute. <laughs> we don't have anything to weigh. How about in the back? In the distance. And this glass doesn't do anything. Alright. Well, I don't know. And there's a gramophone. No. Nope. Alright, well, let's go the other direction then. We have that other place. The door we opened up. How about you? Ooh, what's this? I need a lever. Okay, so... Oh, I see. That opens up that... Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, jeez. What in the world? Oh, you know, <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm keeping evil spirits bound is good. But, you know, I, you do wonder if there was some, you know, charity work that was not being done building the, because of the, the building this place. You never know. Maybe, maybe this is important enough to justify it. I have no idea. Okay. Missionaries not being funded. All right, we can go that way. Let's look at the map again. So there's three ways out of this room, and we can do something here. Round room, basement, laboratory. I don't really want to go to a laboratory, but you know, whatever. Might need to go to the lavatory. I'm just kidding. What do we have here? These discs should be placed in a in specific positions. I need a plan. Okay, what is the deal with this? I need a plan. Alright, well I don't have a plan apparently. I have no plan. <laughs> I tried nothing and I'm out of ideas. Something I heard from the Let's P Player Slail. He has a funny channel. Interesting. He's good at adventure games. He's probably be much better at this than I am. It's locked. Hmm. A template? No, that's not a key, pal. Alright, well, let's just go this way then. Into the laboratory we go. Huh. Man, there's a lot of spider webs everywhere. This thing is being... It's on, though. Let's look at the map. Okay, so... Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's that... The template. I suppose a template of some sort should be placed on top of the compartment. Yeah, we have a template. Select neighboring images in the order displayed in the pattern. You need to use all the images. Okay, I'm not sure I even understand what in the world this means. <laughs> uh, select neighboring images in the order. Oh, I see. So, I... Hmm. Let's try... This, I get it, okay. Oh, darn. Okay, so no. Has good music for this, though. That's cool. 
Hmm. I think I blew it again. I think I got it though. Okay, so let's start over here. Woo-ha! <laughs> I see, here's part of the plan. Half of the diagram. Whoa, no, I didn't want to leave. Oh, jeez. No. Ah. Oh. That scared me. I'd like to ask you not to touch anything. There are certain dangerous items around. The power of which you can't imagine. Excuse me. My name's Vanessa Helsing. I know. Gordon asked me to help you. From what I see, though, you don't need a guide. I recognize the curiosity, so characteristic of the Helsings. They've always been an inquisitive bunch. You know my grandpa, I presume? Yes, I used to. We still have no idea what happened to him or where he's gone. It's probable he's stuck in one of the worlds. Anyway, only the Archbishop can tell you more. The study key should be somewhere here. Father Benedict doesn't like to be disturbed, hence the door is always locked. Oh, 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 and, and he's gone. Okay, strange guy. <laughs> I've got a feeling this man isn't glad to see me here. He even raised his voice at me. <laughs> Boo hoo. And there was weird green gas and light coming out of the thing I opened. But I can't blame him. And sometimes I tend to be very curious. Okay, so he's a little more self-aware then. That's good. Well done, Vanessa. He said he knew my grandpa. And let slip, he might, be, might have been stuck in one of the worlds. What worlds? I didn't even manage to ask his name. When he left, he said that Archbishop Benedict would answer all of my questions. I hope so, because this is all very strange. Hmm. Alrighty. Strange guy. That's a good name for him. Is, is guy his family name? And strange his given name? Like, no, dummy. I mean that he's a guy who's strange. Anything else over here? Let's go poke around some more. Ugh. Oh, we have to find more Oh, left to use. Okay, I guess we're picking through here trying to find stuff. So, um, huh. There's a revolver. Can we take the revolver and, you know, bust a cap in some foos? <laughs> Horseshoe. Put it in our pocket. Okay, what, what are we supposed to be doing? Here's an apple, scissors, a weight. I, man. I... There's a trap. Hmm. A feather? What would we do with a feather? Let's put the apple with the other apples. Alrighty. There's some garlic. Some scissors. A weight. Matches. Is there a candle or something? The light? Man, we could light that broom on fire. <laughs> An eyeball. Let's put that in the skull, maybe. Oh, yep. Yeah. Haha. -ha. Some teeth. Oh, he has teeth, though. Ah, he has teeth, though. A pencil, feather, a glove, a pestle, some teeth. Yeah, maybe this goes in that mortar. Yep. It's like what, um,. Pharmacists use to mix their compounds. 
and they're doing compounding. Have you ever seen that? I used to work at a pharmacy, and every once in a while, the pharmacist would have to make a comp, compa- do some compounding, like old school times. It was really cool. They look kind of like alchemists, like you imagine, anyways. <laughs> I have no idea what alchemists really look like doing their stuff. To be honest, those are shoes. Does a glove go with the shoes? Probably not. No. Hmm. Horseshoe. No. We're not leaving yet, pal. Oh, man. There's a sword. Can we take the sword? No. Apparently not. I don't use swords. You need to use a sword, lady. The pen is mightier. Um, well, there's a pencil here. Take it. I don't take pencils. I only take pens. Huh. The gavel? No. Rope? Goblet? I can't use that object here. There's a knife. Take the knife. Alright. Where? Oh, where? If I take too long, I'll fast. I'll edit this to, you know, not be so prolonged. There's some books. Can I read the books? No? Oh, wait. There's a scale, right? Yes. Right on. Left six to use. I've only used four? Oh, I thought I did more than that. Jeez. A mirror. Scissors. Oh, I can't even see half these things distinctly. There's a... Ch oh! Oh, okay. We can look in here. Oh, right there. Teeth can go with the other teeth. Yeah. There's a compass. Why can't we take it? Darn it. Hmm. Matches can go in this matchbox? Yes. Scissors can go in the lock? We can force it? Oh, yes. Haha. -ha. There is... A glove with the key? Um. Okay. Nope. We don't get the key, or we do get the key? I want that key. Pencil on that notebook? Yes. A feather. Hmm. There's a. Is that a heart or an organ? Glove. A. Wonder what that's about. Okay, how about this feather? <laughs> we'll just tickle everything and see if anything sneezes. Then we'll force allergy medicine down its gullet. Its gullet. Alright, well, that's more of them done. But where would this feather go? I have to say, I don't know that I see anything that would use a feather. Or a glove. Oh, there's a glove. Haha, -ha, I say that and I found it. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, there's a ruler. Feather does what? Huh. We might as well get the feather out. Oh, oh, duh, it's a quill. I'm stupid. And we got that key. We couldn't take the key before that. We had to put that quill in there. <laughs> the ancient laws so demand. Alrighty. Well, we got that. Very good. <laughs> Anything else here? No. No, 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 no. Let's look at our map. Yeah, we can go back. Um, actually, let's go back again. Oh, I see, we can go out this way too. 
Or we can open this door. Wait, where are we then? Oh, we're still just in there. Alright. Okay. Well, let's go in here and... Another digital lock. It scans a ring with a stone. Perhaps a signet ring. We do not have a signet ring? No. It's, I can't use that there. Well. Hmm. Huh. And this is still that same room? Yes, it is. Oh, wait. There we are. All right, we found something else. The crate is firmly nailed shut. I'm going to need a tool to open it. I had a screwdriver, but I threw it away because, you know, I'm stupid. Let's light the crate on fire. <laughs> Apparently that's not the right tool. We'll pry it with this statuette. <laughs> Okay, I don't think we have anything for it. Let's ruin this key. Alright. Hmm. Alright, well... At least we know that there's something else here. This crate. Which does mean I should take one more quick look. I keep on thinking that should be something. Like a, a bar to use on that grating out that... To, as a lever. Nothing, nothing. Hmm. Let's see. If we have this, these discs should be placed in specific positions. I need a plan. Okay, that didn't work. I guess we put that half there. I mean, I, I could probably hazard a guess, right? This slides right here. <laughs> um, this slides in right here. This slides in. Eh, well, whatever. Let's see if there's anything else we can do here. You know, I think I'm going to actually call this episode right here. This seems to be a good enough place to call it. We made a decent bit of progress. And met another um, person here. And it seems like we're getting closer to finding Archbishop. So I want to say thank you for joining me on this second episode of my Penny Pincher Arcade playthrough of Portal of Evil Stolen Runes. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.